Well, welcome to our second sea lion show of the day. You're very lucky today because you've got lots of trainers and lots of sea lions. Oh, wrong sea lion. <laughs> Well, spot sea lions, how's that? Okay, so as we have lots of trainers, lots of sea lions, let's start by introducing you to everyone. So, at the front we have Stacey and Bailey, and then she's with me, my name is Kat, and we have Lara. Kat and Lara, and then at the back we've got Jen and Dominic, our big, loud, breeding bull. So we actually have six sea lions here at the zoo. We also have three little pups, the three pups are inside, so they're all different ages. We have Hannah and Oakley, who were born last year, uh, so they're one year old. Then we have little Maui, and little Maui uh, is only nine weeks old. Nine weeks old. So he might come out a little bit later on, we will open the doors at the end. And Maui is incredibly cute, so do look out for him. Sorry, Lara. Uh, yes, do look out for Maui and Oakley and Hannah in the underwater viewing area. So lots and lots of sea lions, lots of trainers, and lots of fun to be had here this afternoon. Isn't that like that? <laughs> yeah, lots of fun. So let's start off by telling you what kind of animals these are. Well, of course they are sea lions, aren't they? They've got big teeth, they've got whiskers, um, but where do they come from? Well, these particular sea lions are Californian sea lions. And Californian sea lions come from right up in Alaska, all the way down to Mexico. And actually, he's joined us at a very exciting time because just now, this is breeding season. And breeding season is a very noisy affair out in California. Yeah, very noisy indeed. And what happens is the sea lions, they come up onto the beaches in California. And when the sun is shining, they love to tilt their heads back. Tilt their heads back, just a bit, come on. Tilt their heads back, yes. And have lots of summer sunshine. They absolutely love to sunbathe. They do lots and lots of sunbathing. Apparently Lara says, no, it's not sunny enough to sunbathe. It was just sunny a minute ago. So they do lots of sunbathing. And they will also find themselves a very nice male sea lion. The male sea lion is always the biggest and best of the group. And of course, Dom is an absolutely beautiful specimen, isn't he? Yes, he's a beautiful specimen. <laughs> Which is absolutely fantastic for our sea lion. So, um, he will find himself lots of girlfriends. Now, whether you look at it, uh, whether it's good or not, Dom has just two girlfriends. But out in the wild, sea lions can have as many as 12 girlfriends. Well, that is an awful lot of sea lions to keep an eye on. So what they do uh, is they don't return to the water. They stay uh, on the side of the beaches and that means that they can keep an eye on all of their ladies because they don't want to lose their ladies to another rival male. So they'll stay out of water and that means they're not going to eat because they're only going to find lots and lots of fish in the water. So they'll stay up on the land not return to the water for the whole of breeding season, but it can last months at a time. So by the end of the summer, they will return to the water, and they will start to feel the chill of the water. Believe it or not, sea lions are absolutely covered in hair. They're like water dogs. They've got lots of hair all over their bodies. And that does keep them warm to a certain extent, but there is another way that they keep themselves up uh, when the sun starts to turn down in the sky at the end of the summer. So what they do is they stick their extremities out of the water. It does look like they're doing a little bit of a sharp impression. Oh, here we go. Uh, but what this does is it means they can keep their bodies up. They actually have capillaries, which is blood vessels, right in the end of those flippers. So by sticking those flippers out of the water, it means they get nice and warm from that summer, the last of the summer sun. And once they are nice and warm, it does mean that they are then ready to go fishing for lots and lots of young fish. Right. Uh, maybe some dolphins as well, but they might also 